Nottinghamshire lost their 100% record in this season's Yorkshire Bank 40 as they went down by 50 runs to Sussex at Trent Bridge. Ed Joyce won the toss and batted to see if Chris Nash and Luke Wright could repeat their extraordinary efforts of the other night when they blasted 194 between them in just 18 overs. This time they'd smashed 36 off the first four when Wright edged Harry Gurney behind to go for a rapid 24. Gurney struck again in his next over, Rory Hamilton-Brown slicing a drive off the left armour to David Hussey, who was back in Knott's colours for the first time this season. Nash again batted well, getting to a runner ball 40 when he was dismissed by Stephen Mullaney, who took an excellent low catch off his own bowling to lead the Sharks on 83 for 3 after 14 overs. But Sussex then put themselves into a good position thanks to a 90-run partnership for the fourth wicket between Joyce and Matt Machin. The latter struck a pair of sixes to give his side a chance of setting a tough target for their host to chase down to win their eighth successive match in this season's competition. It was just what the doctor ordered for a Sussex side who have been a little disappointing by their own very high standards in the 40-over game this year. They failed to defend 336 in their last game, but were now batting themselves into a solid position. Joyce completed his second 50 of the one-day summer against a side he scores lots of runs against. This one had come off 60 deliveries, which had helped his side reach 171 for three, with 10 overs of their innings remaining. They would have been looking for a total of around 250 from here. Instead, they lost their way once that Joyce was stumped by Chris Reid off the bowling of Samit Patel for 58 in the 31st over. Joe Gatting followed six balls later with a regulation nick off Ajmal Shazad to take the total to 174 for five. Machen was still there, however, and he too completed a fine 50 of 55 balls and innings, including only three fours, but also that pair of sixes we showed you earlier. It was only the third time the left-hander has made it that far and the first time this season. Sussex did lose late wickets in their pursuit of runs as not started to hold the edge. Ben Brown chipped Gurney's slower ball to James Taylor. Machen, having advanced his score onto a runner ball 68, was yorked by Gurney's perfect delivery. And it was a fifer for the former Leicestershire man for the second time in his one-day career, as he then switched to around the wicket to bowl Chris Little next ball. Gurney finished with figures of 5 for 48, with Jake Ball ending the innings with the wicket of debutant Matthew Hobden, who threw the kitchen sink but squirmed the ball out to Ricky Vessels. Sussex ended on 223 for 9, well below what they could have got. So it was advantage outlaws at the halfway stage as they set about chasing down that target at around five and a half runs per over. Michael Lum looked in a hurry until he dragged a short ball from new boy Hobden back onto his stumps to go for 13 in the fourth over. You have to feel a little bit sorry for Alex Hales right now as his wretched run of single figure scores continued as he fell five balls later on seven, driving Andy Miller's looping delivery to Hamilton Brown. That put Knotts on 29 for two, but they now had their two most successful one-day batsmen in against a Sussex team which had rested a number of its first-choice attack. Patel hit Miller, playing in only his seventh list day game for a six, before he also took on Nash as he and Taylor once again put their side into a winning position, bringing up the 100 at the halfway stage of their innings. Crucially, Patel was then out for 45, skying Little out to Gatting to end a third wicket partnership of 71 with Taylor. That brought in Hussey, who was soon making his presence felt by hammering Little over long off for a maximum. But two wickets in two overs then put this game in the balance once again. On 14, Hussey was taken at long on off Will Beer. And then Vessels edged the impressive little behind to go for a single at 127 for five. The target was brought down to 76 off the last 10 overs, but with Taylor still in and Reed clearing the rope off Beer, an eighth win on the trot still looked to be the most likely outcome. But as Sussex had done before them, the home side then lost wickets just when they didn't want to. Reed fell at the end of the 31st over as he missed time to hit off right and gave Little a catch at mid-off. And importantly, Taylor was out two balls later, 
After making a steady 45 and taking him to within 12 runs of becoming the leading run scorer in this season's competition, he was LBW to Nash on the reverse. And the rest followed pretty quickly. With 60 needed off 40 balls, Shazad swung Beer out to Hamilton Brown. Then, four balls and two runs later, ball was bowled by Little, who ended with figures of 3 for 21 off his six overs. And the game was finished off by Miller, who had Gurney held by Hamilton Brown. From 151 for 5 and reasonably well placed, the Outlaws had lost 5 wickets for 22 runs in 5 overs to be dismissed for 173. And that gave Sussex a win by 50 runs, their third from 9 matches this summer, which puts them in 4th place in Group A, still half a dozen points behind the leaders Nottinghamshire, who also have a game in hand. They will hope that this is merely a blip in their excellent one-day season thus far.